So um, I think the three-point shooting, it's, it, it can lead you to think certain things. And this year, I mean, um, I think that uh, like 30% of the games or something like that were decided by 10 points or more. And um, 20% were decided by 20 points or more. Um, I might have those flipped. Um, but the, the amount of big scores and big uh, gaps in um, in uh, in uh, deficits. I also think there was a significant amount of comebacks that were probably unprecedented. But just the the margin of victory this year. I mean, one, it's the style of play. Two, there's a, certainly a fatigue issue from the um, from the schedule in the second half for sure. Uh, and then you know, on a night to night basis, the team is totally different because of the players in and out, either for injury or. Uh, health and safety protocols. So there's a lot of change. So you're going to get some big swings in the scores. And um, the, the style of play is obviously the number one driver because the threes compound, you know, um, you know, like, like, a, like a Benjamin Graham, um, you know, book would tell you. Like, there, it's pretty powerful once you get into the third or fourth one that they go unanswered. And I think that um, we have to be careful about jumping to too many conclusions about that. But the thing that I, I do feel is that we can adjust to that. Like we've always been in the, in the mindset that we have to be who we are. We have to play to our strengths. Um, it doesn't make sense to um, rail against, you know, uh, change because I think change is healthy. I think change is good. Um, but you don't want to just mimic things um, because I think that's how you end up in the middle. So you have to be thoughtful about, you know, where you take things and not just follow the pack. Uh, but I, I don't see it changing anytime soon. If you're going to change it, the way style of play has changed in the past has been when the rules change. So if the officiating changes, the last time we got this huge boom in scoring was when we changed all the hand checking rules. And um, all of a sudden overnight, you know, certain players became dramatically more valuable and other players became dramatically less valuable just with the rule change. So if there are some adjustments to some of the officiating, um, and I think the fishing is great. So I don't want to, 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 to come across that way. But the way to adjust the style of play and bring it back a little bit to do a more balanced offensive, defensive game would be the rules. The rules dictate the style of play, and the players then do everything they can within the rules to stretch the game. And then you have to adjust and adapt because the players are so good. But um, uh, I'm not a, a, a grumpy old man on, on my porch saying that all the threes are bad. Um, I just think it has to be thought about, like, what is our goal? What's the product we want, ultimately? Do we want everybody playing the same way? Do we want more diversity in the way we play? Um, you know, what is the role of the different positions that we want to have? Um, how tied are we to tradition? Um, I think you need to start with a series of questions about where you want to end up versus just reacting to the statistics themselves. I think the data helps, but it should drive your strategy towards what your ultimate goal should be.